What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. In this video today, we are going to talk trucks versus trailers and which one you need. But first order of business is slapping the registration tags on all the equipment. So I'm gonna go over to the shop now, get that done and get this video on its way. All right, guys, so trucks versus trailers. I just got finished putting the tags on all this stuff. Um, so I got the doors popped open on both of these. Trailer and the truck here. Hopefully the sun doesn't mess with us too much. Uh, I'm gonna try and stand, I think, the sun against me. Um, so starting off, there's, there's a major difference between the two right off the bat, and that's gonna be cost. The cost is uh, drastically different between the two, as you might soon um, a new truck a zuzu mpr or a 350 with the bodies that we need for junk removal is going to run you about 50k um, give or take whatever um, you know type of package you get with it a new trailer is going to be between like 5k and 9k um, i'm not too too familiar with the cost on uh on all these trailers but uh, mine was 8,000. this is the uh the pj dm 14 foot so Right off the rip, we got height. You got, these walls are four feet high. These walls are four and a half feet high. But off of the ground, trip over some snow here. Off the ground, you can see the difference. Um, <clears throat> the trailer is probably two and a half feet lower than the truck, maybe even three feet lower than the truck. So. You can be throwing barrels over this, no issue. Can't really be throwing <laughs> barrels over that. Um, you definitely can. A lot of times you just stand up on the truck and fire some stuff over it. Um, so that's height wise. Another thing height wise is getting into it. So this is about two feet off the ground. You step right up into it, no issue. This you have to jump up into. Um, not too big of a problem, but you gotta jump up into it. You can't just walk into it. So we're talking about material, right? Um, you're doing some concrete demo, you just busted up a shed, maybe you're hauling some uh, yard waste or some dirt, um, or even super, super heavy uh, furniture. Um, trailer, you got ramps that go in and you make your own ramp. You wheel the material to the front, you dump it, you know, you just keep going. This thing, um, you know, we usually wheel everything to the truck, lift the bin or the wheelbarrow, whatever it is, up into the truck, jump up into it, pull it to the front, dump it, and repeat. So even just talking about it sounds sounds uh, <laughs> sounds exhausting, um, but we do it all the time. I bought this way before I bought this. I bought this so that we could offload into mainly, and we use it nine times out of ten when we're doing. Um, demolition or um, removing like super heavy stuff, concrete, um, dirt, and yard waste and stuff. So those are two big differences is the height of not only the sides, but the height of just the, the, um, the equipment itself off the ground. Um, next we got is tires. So we're looking at four tires on the trailer, four tires on the pickup. This is a dually, so we got six tires on this thing. Um, you're gonna get you're gonna get nails in everything, and I find myself getting more nails in the trailer than I do in the dump truck. And I think the reason being is because I have way more control over the dump truck than I do the trailer. If I'm backing in at the transfer station and I see someone dumped a bunch of construction debris. Um, and there's I see some nails or I'm assuming there's some nails I can just kind of cut the wheel and move it wherever um, when you're backing a trailer in um, You're kind of just trying to get it into the spot You need to get it in without damaging 
um, anything on the left or the right or the trailer itself. Um, so I find myself getting more nails uh, in those uh, in those tires. Um, whether you get nails in them or not, you do have four on the truck, four on the trailer, and only six on the dump truck. That's not a reason to buy or not buy um, a trailer or a truck. That's just, you know, I'm just spreading the word. Um, another big difference on both of these is weight. This dump truck is rated for 14,000 pounds. This trailer is rated for 14,000 pounds. The difference is this trailer weighs a little over 4,000 pounds empty and this dump truck weighs about 9,500 empty. So you can pull 10,000 in this where you can really only pull like 4,000, 4,500 in that. Um, so you're gonna be able to haul much more weight when you're using a trailer. Um, that's all good, but you're putting a lot more wear on the tow uh, vehicle itself. So my 350 that I'm towing with, um, I remember a time we, we did concrete removal and we filled this thing to the legal limit or what we thought was the legal limit and we're you know pulling it down the street and I mean, you can you know you can feel it especially when you're braking sometimes um, it's difficult to you know figure out how much whatever you're pulling is gonna weigh before you demo it or, or as you pull it into the truck um, and you're driving down the street nine times out of ten your brakes are rated for you know X amount of weight um, if you're overweight the brakes on your truck even if you have brakes on the trailer aren't gonna be able to stop you same thing with the dump truck um, you need to make sure you're not overweight, but these brakes are rated for the weight that's in there. You're not going to put 20,000 pounds in this thing because you're just not going to do it. You could put 20,000 pounds in this thing and not even know about it. Um, what you'll uh, end up using when you're, when you're loading the trailer is, is this height right here. As this gets lower, obviously more weight on the tongue. You know, if if you were bulldogged like that, and and this wheel well was touching the wheel, you you'd obviously know that you were um, overweight. But uh, so that's how you can you know tell um, the weight on that one. Registration tags, um, like I just put them on all these. So you obviously need one for the trailer, one for your uh, tow vehicle, um, and for the truck you just need one for the dump truck. So. You only need to register a dump truck for the trailer. You need to register the trailer and have your vehicle registered, at least in Massachusetts. I don't know what's going on anywhere else. Um, you see the toolbox here is open. We keep all of our stuff in here. I might be getting another one on the other side. There is a toolbox here. It's not really a toolbox. It's more just you get the hydraulic uh, pump there and the, you know the battery and. <clears throat> whatever um, but you got toolboxes so you're probably gonna keep most of your tools I have a toolbox on the 350 um, you're gonna keep most of your tools in your bed and that shit gets crazy when you're working and it's like super messy this in the toolbox down here keeps it nice and neat um, if you're in an Isuzu this you can get kind of moved back there so this whole area right here would be a toolbox it's called an I box I believe um, and you have access on both sides of it um, you can get it on these but it just adds to the length of it and I just did not want to um, add any more length to it because I wouldn't be able to maneuver it uh, how I wanted to which brings up maneuverability so if that's a word um, this thing is way more difficult to maneuver than this thing and obviously the reason being is this thing with a truck is two car lengths where this is just a truck. Um, where I am in Massachusetts, we do a lot of work in the city. I can't bring the trailer into the city unless I know that we have parking for it. Um, and nine times out of 10, we don't when we're working in the city. So we bring the dump truck in there. When we're doing residential work, it's usually fine, but there's definitely some times where we've brought the trailer and we can't get it into the driveway because the street's too small. There's cars parked on both sides. We can't swing it in and we actually have to do the clean out. It was from a basement the first time it happened. This has happened a bunch, um, but we pull everything out of the basement, down the driveway to the street and load up the truck. Whereas if we just brought the, brought the dump truck, um, we would have just been able to really just back up to the to the bulkhead and load the thing up from there So maneuverability is a huge factor depending on where you live depending on What your service area um, is going to allow you to do so uh, That's kind of it. I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean you you have the hydraulic Lift on this 
is going to be the same as the hydraulic lift on that. So I'm not going to do the dump truck. But they're the exact same. Both scissor lifts. This is called a scissor lift. Grease this bad boy. Um, so they're both the same on that. Um, I hope this video is beneficial to you guys. Um, I know that when I was looking for a dump truck, I already had my my decision made. There was no way I was gonna do a trailer. Um, I honestly didn't even come into my head. I was just save, save, save so I can put money down on a dump truck. So um, I never had any issues with this dump truck like i said we bought the dump trailer to offload into still a great investment um, but you need to be thinking of this stuff as an investment for your business um, so you got to make the choice that's right for you don't worry about whatever anyone else thinks they all cost money everything costs money um, do what's right for your business so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button like this video and as always business owners and operators Comment below with your social media links so that we can like your Facebook page and follow you on Instagram so we can all kind of help each other. Um, get the name of your business out there, get more follows. All that crap helps down the road and, you know, present as well. To those of you that have been following the channel, I want to say I really appreciate your support, uh, liking the videos, commenting on the videos. All the interaction that we have helps grow the channel and helps get this information out there um, even quicker. So I appreciate you. Uh, Hope this was educational for you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.